because I wasn't sure. Hi, uh, we're back, Susan Lucci. It's time to cook, and uh, what are we making now? We actually, I'm baking uh, my grandmother's recipe. Uh, my grandmother lived with us until she passed away when I was 11, and she cooked and baked every single day. Oh. Uh, she was spectacular, my only American grandmother. She was so talented, and I loved her so much. Anyway, so I baked this cake with her as a little girl growing up. I've kept all her recipes. I even work in her same at home green crockery bowl and uh, her wooden spoon and um, isn't that the best like when you have best. kitchen utensils from you know generations past yes all right this so what, what are we making let's get started okay so we are making apple cake and uh she would make this as a, something to have with coffee in the afternoon um i know my dad always loved to come home from work and have her apple cake too so um it's one and a half cups of of sugar you're gonna um why are you sifting it because it says so in the recipe. Oh. <laughs> it just fell right through. It's half a cup of sugar, one and a half cups of flour. I used everything um, organic. And then two teaspoons of baking powder. Make sure it's not the baking salt. I mean, because, you know. Ba baking, baking soda. Soda, excuse yeah. me. See, I'm... You know, but here's that's the why thing. I need to read her recipe. It's so comical to see you baking and sifting because wouldn't you just dump everything in the bowl at home? No, but I would sift. True to recipe. Well, if it said, yes, because it says sift, and she always used a wooden spoon in, uh, in a sieve like this, and that's what she did. Uh huh. But this, I love this recipe because you don't have to whip anything. Yes. You don't have to... Uh, you, don't, you don't need a beater. You don't need a beater. Yes. No muss, no fuss, and it's really easy. Now, what are these then ingredients? Then these are the wet ingredients, so with well-beaten one egg, that's all it takes, and a cup of milk. I forget which... I, I don't work like this at home. I do it in a bowl, but oh well. Um, this is melted. Doesn't everything end up in here? I'm going to end it up in there, but you have to mix it first together. So okay. I think that's bigger. I'm going to mix it in the cup. That's a, This is why I'm a stick. horrible baker. Well, if I have the recipe in front of me, I'm following it, but it's one, one stick of butter, uh, unsalted butter. And again, I use everything organic, and that's the well-beaten egg. Okay, Go ahead and mix it. that together. Okay. And everything's going to end up in the bowl. And then everything's going to end up in the bowl. You know, I like to cook, like the salt, pepper, gar like cook. Cook. I'm not a good baker. Most people are one or the other. Yeah. Um, I will tell you that my grandmother did both, my husband does both, and my daughter got both sets of genes. She is cooking you, and Liza. baking. She started her own company for feeding babies the first year of life, saved spoonfuls. She's taken it all to a whole other level. So you mix this really, really well. And, and you don't need a beater. You don't need a beater, okay. and you just mix it. It takes a bit because you want to make sure it's all really blended very thoroughly. Everything blended and all the powder all exactly. crunched up. Exactly. I don't know how much time we have. Right. Should we just you want Not to... much. She's giving us the sign saying okay, speed it up. Okay, here I am. Speed. <laughs> you do some speed mixing. What speed kind of delicious mixing. apples are these? I, they're tart apples. They're oh, Granny so... Smith's. <laughs> Really? What's on there? No, they're really raw. Oh, okay. But it's gonna I wasn't prepared. But we're going to put cinnamon sugar on top, and then they're going to be just right. Okay, so mix, mix, mix. And we did speed mixing. We're going to put this into the bowl. So the oven has I mean, been preheated to what temperature? 400 degrees. You're going to bake it for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's going to come out? It's going to come out like this. The tart apples are, are laid on top. Beautiful. Slice, slice, slice. And these, this is the cake I baked. What a nice... I, Hey, Liza, come have a taste. Hi, sweetheart. This is one of my favorite Sunday treats that my mom bakes for well, us here, when come she on. comes over. I hey, Liza. love this. So what do you do? You have a company? For... I do. I'm the CEO and founder of Sage Spoonfuls, and it's really all based around, um, it's an award-winning product line based around healthy cooking for kids. Good for and you. for children. Good yeah. for you. It's amazing. Susan. So nice to see you again. Oh, great to see you. I'm just going to lay some apples, and I don't see the cinnamon sugar, but it's here somewhere, and you sprinkle cinnamon sugar on top. It tastes so, so good. Delicious. Yes, yes. For more information on this recipe, go to wendyshow.com. Susan Lucci, thanks for being here. Thank Liza, you, Wendy. Thank you also for being here. And make sure that you watch Deadly Affairs Thursday night at 9 o'clock on Investigation Discovery. Ask 